Good evening, I'm Shoga Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak, chaired the cabinet meeting today at Galibia Palace. Following the session of the cabinet, Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser delivered the following statement. The cabinet hailed Bahrain's classification as part of the first category in the field of combating human trafficking in the annual report of the U.S. Department of State, which reflects the efforts of the government in combating human trafficking and a result of the advancement in the field of protecting human rights in the kingdom, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the effectiveness of the measures that are consistent with inter the international treaties adopted by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to combat such a crime border crimes. The cabinet also commended the efforts of the coordination committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in following up on the measures taken by the concerned bodies to combat human trafficking. The cabinet praised holding the economic workshop Peace for Prosperity hosted in the Kingdom in cooperation with the United States, asserting the Kingdom's keenness on contributing to all that support the Palestinian economy and creating a prosperous future for the Palestinian people to continue the Kingdom's approach of approach supporting the Palestinian cause and all the initiatives that are advantageous to the region and its people. The cabinet also welcomed the states, organizations and regional and international companies participating in this vital economic event. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak followed up on the steps for implementing the executive stages of the King Hamad Causeway project that connects Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, directing to speed up the technical and engineering stages, as well as the procedures of the project's tenders. The cabinet reiterated its condemnation of Houthi terrorists in targeting civilians and its violation of international law and threatening security and stability. The cabinet affirmed the necessity for the international community's shouldering of its responsibilities to protect civilians from similar terrorist attacks. The cabinet expressed the kingdom's supporting stance towards Saudi Arabia in all measures taken to maintain its security and stability. The cabinet approved a number of resolutions to develop the wage protection system for private sector workers in the kingdom of Bahrain whereby employers pay their employees' salaries through licensed banks from the Central Bank of Bahrain under the supervision of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority. The Cabinet referred a draft law to the Coordinating Committee amending Article 8 of the General Budget Law to make it more responsive to the integration of women's needs into development programmes. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs the Memorandum of the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the Bahrain signing and ratification of the Statute of Organization of Islamic Cooperation's Women Development Organization. The Cabinet approved the financial statements for the account of the Future Generations Reserve for the fiscal year that ended on 31st December 2018, audited by the Audit and Financial and Administrative Control Bureau, and they referred it to the Council of Representatives. The session approved Bahrain's participation in the UN Economic and Social Council's high-level political forum on sustainable development. The meeting decided that the participating delegation will be headed by the Minister of Housing with the membership of representatives of the National Information Committee, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Information and E-Government Authority. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs the Memorandum of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding government purchases in Bahrain. The Cabinet approved a proposal to activate the resolution to grant two hours of rest to employees or workers with disabilities or caring for a person with disabilities after the issuance of Resolution 80 of 2018. The meeting referred to the Council of Representatives, the government's response to two proposals presented by the Council regarding a program to support 100 emerging Arab companies announced by the Economic Development Board and on the establishment of a central road transport station operating in the manner of airports to move between countries. The Cabinet reviewed the results of the 108th session of the International Labour Conference. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa hailed the achievement made by Bahrain in its cooperation with ILO in all subjects related to Bahrain, which supports government's efforts in the field of labor and strengthen relations between production parties. The session also reviewed the results of the participation of the Minister of Communication and Telecommunications in the Le Bourget International Air Show and took note of the outcome of the 110th meeting of the Executive Council of the World Tourism Organization.
Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at his office in the Royal Guard Command, Commander of the U.S. Central Command Carl Mundy and the accompanying delegation. During the meeting, His Highness discussed with the guests ways of enhancing joint military cooperation, hailing in this regard the deep-rooted historical relations that bind the two countries in all fields, as well as the development these relations keep witnessing in all levels. Royal Guard Deputy Commander Major General Hamad Khalifa al naimi also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Majesty's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's unprecedented achievement made by the national team in the IMMAF Youth European Open Championships held in Rome, Italy. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the historic achievement in the European Championship, which came as a result of the support of His Majesty the King to the sports sector and to the athletes, and His Majesty's directives to develop Bahraini sports, as well as the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to translate the royal visions of His Majesty the King through developmental steps and programs. His Highness asserted his continuous support to the sport to make further achievements in the upcoming participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the team's technical level at the international sports events and the success they achieved in the competitions. He praised the efforts of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation under the chairmanship of Colonel Khalid Abdelaziz Al Khayyat to provide a suitable atmosphere for the team to take part in competitions, wishing the federation further success to develop Bahraini mixed martial arts sports. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, held a meeting with the Speaker of the Japanese House of Representatives, Tadamori Oshima, on the sidelines of Bahraini delegation's participation in the Women Political Leaders Global Forum in Tokyo. Zainal noted the two sides' keenness on bolstering parliamentary cooperation. She affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, supports stability, means of increasing investment, and all global and regional peace efforts. For his part, the Speaker of the Japanese House of Representatives hailed the distinguished relations between the two countries, stressing his country's keenness on increasing fields of cooperation at the parliamentary and legislative levels. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Bahrain strongly condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a parking area at Abha International Airport in Saudi Arabia by Iran backed Houthi militia, resulting in the death of a person and the wounding of others. The Foreign Affairs Ministry expressed condolences to the families of the victims, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. The Foreign Affairs Ministry reiterated Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia against attempts targeting its security and stability. It also affirmed its support to the Saudi security measures to fight violence, extremism and terrorism. It called on the international community to shoulder its responsibility to counter the practices of Iran and its affiliated terrorist organizations in the region.